Oh yeah, there's Baileys. Hold on a minute, Baileys. I need to check my text. Knock knock. Anyone there? Mr. Baileys, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. How are you tonight? I'm alright. But well, you look pretty distracted. A penny for your thoughts? Ah, uh, you can have them for free. I was just pondering the hidden side of things. How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. Nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. <sighs> Funny, I was having similar thoughts on my way here. I guess now that we spend so much time on social media, people believe you can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not that easy to know someone. Even if that someone is yourself. Especially if that someone is yourself. <laughs> Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. Let's do some latte art this time. What should I put? Uh... I guess we we'll just try a regular heart. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> no, it looks like a rooster! Does that mean she also knows where you're from, Silver? She does. In fact, I told her about that on our first date. Wow, that's very brave. It's very hard to put yourself out there under any circumstances. To reveal something so vulnerable to someone you just met and are starting to like it takes guts. Ah, uh, you're very kind, but I don't think so. To be honest, I hadn't planned it that way. Although I've always felt safe here with all the regulars, I know that not everyone would be open minded about me. So I wasn't sure I'd say anything to Paul that night. But as we were talking, I was so happy to learn more about her, about who she is, and I realized that I didn't want her to have an incomplete picture of me. My past is a part of me. If my goal is to find someone who sees me for who I am, then she needs to know about that too. And in the end, that was the right decision. True, chosen families can also rock. Yes, when we met Pearl, we came to a conclusion. There's no difference in nature or expression between a family that you are born with and a family that you acquire by choice. Both demand work and understanding. There may be minute differences in the specific process, but the bond appears to be 99.99% similar in the end. So it is. Yes, you must go pack. First time I see someone get excited about that specific part. What Amanda really means that I must pack. <laughs> While she analyzes the earthly ritual of folding shirts, rolling up socks, and so on. Look, oh, boss. Nice seeing you here, Henry. How goes it? Now that I'm looking at it, how did how does those glasses stay on? Lighter, you just blew up. Well, what do you mean blew up? Y yeah, I think we definitely need more context here. Well, I didn't see it cause I was walking towards my car. You see, but I heard it. Four. With a whoosh, followed by a couple of clink clinks. Huh? What kind of sound is that? Right, okay. But doesn't that normally happen anyway? How do we pay respects or remember someone who died a long time ago? Like our ancestors, for example. It's all called, isn't it? Hmm. Every April, Rachel and I would visit my wife's grave. We used to visit her grandparents' graves too, when my wife was still alive. If our extended family was visiting, they join us. We clean their gravestones, bring food, and have a feast while catching up. That's how Nikumi means honor the dead, and I'm sure other cultures have their own ways too. Right. I truly think that continuing the tradition is something we do for ourselves though. To remember the deceased and all the reasons they matter to us. So except for the weird erased memory part, it sounds on par to me. It's the effort of the living to remember the dead anyway. 
you're right. Unless you believe in life after death, memories are for us, not for the dead. After listening to the experiences you and Mr. Lucas had, along with my conversations with Logos and the regulars of this coffee shop, I gradually realized over the past week that that I'm severely lacking in awareness about many things. Huh. And what makes it more troubling is... It is likely that my ignorance was on purpose? Ignorance? What do you mean? Miss Rachel, the position you hold today is a result of your efforts and tenacity. You honed your talent, but you did not shirk from taking risks in order to succeed. Your knowledge of the industry has enabled you to successfully navigate it, and I greatly respect your ability to do so. Mr. Lucas also, though I do not fully understand his content, he is successful enough that people earn a living through his work. I am aware that must require a great deal of courage and flexibility. To put it simply, I feel ashamed of myself. Because I may have been too comfortable with the status quo to the point that I no longer strive to improve my situation. Are you really though? I mean you've been trying your best, right? I've been trying, yes. But have I been trying my best? That's debatable. And about my intentional ignorance, I'm simply afraid. Afraid? I understand that I have only a small chance of being selected for a role in a play. I really do. I understand that it's due to my lack of network and the industry's expectations along with my lack of higher education and for the simple fact of what I am I'm truly fine with all that I really am because because all of it is a pain I'm already familiar with and perhaps somewhere in the deepest depths of my heart I'm having to face unfamiliar rejections again Having to get used to new pain all over again just might be might be difficult. Your driving force before you started questioning it. I wish to break free from the shackles of prejudice. Whether it's societies or my own, not only for myself, but also for my kind. I see. So it doesn't have to be opera, right? Pardon? Reaching that goal can be done a lot of ways. Like politics. Huh. You're not wrong, but... <laughs> it's just an example, jeez. Why well, I admit, being an entertainer is probably the fastest way to win people over. But that's not what you want to do, is it? I simply do not wish to be trapped in my own fear forever. Although I do regret that my one-track-minded efforts may have been in vain. I don't think everything you've done so far is in vain, though. Hmm? I always believe in sincere efforts. Well, never mind that. What are you going to do now? I'm not sure. I already rejected Mr. Lucas's offer. So what if you rejected his offer? Call him! Huh? Or text him, tell him you changed your mind. What's the worst that could happen? People are allowed to change their minds. He rejects you, well, that's his loss, isn't it? I'm not sure he'll be his loss necessarily. Shh. Just do it. Text him. Yeah. Okay. Ho hold on, Gala. Text first. Rihanna has no delivery today. 
Oh, now Lucas and Nick, uh, Rachel follow. Lucas started a new podcast. Down to right. <laughs> ah, this one. Oh, uh, now uh, Rachel's also. And Rihanna is on it too. Oh, she's got more likes now. Oh, they look so cute. Now, shall we get this celebration started? Please, I'm so excited. There's adrenaline for you. Hang on to that feeling. If you call it adrenaline, I call it deep, passionate, irresistible fascination for husband. <laughs> hey, 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 don't get too cocky, Mr. Miller. Oh, are you taking Lua's last name, babies? Ah, uh, no. We're keeping our last names. But I'll be Mr. Miller, if it pleases Mrs. Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to make you happy. Oh, you always make me melt. Disgusting. He said, wiping off his tears. How many times must I tell you? It was the city hall flowers. They make my allergies flare up. Sure, let's go with that. All I know about the UK is that British werewolf I once met. British werewolf. He went absolutely wild during Fury. But even then, he will beg the wall's pardon after putting his fist through it. Sounds about right. I imagine you two became great friends. Nah, you know root vampires are much more vital. <laughs> hey! Actually, no, I'm not offended. Root vampire, I'm proud of it. They will look great on a t-shirt. Awesome idea. I'll consider that for a Christmas gift. <laughs> Don't you help hide with decorating the Angala? Why indeed? I... My job. Time... Your job? Time? I see. Everyone's a critic, but the truth is... Gala has no understanding of colour, material, or shape. I'm a lazy interior designer at best, but Gala is an interior designer's waking nightmare. Not true! I just go for functional things. That's what people say when they've got no taste. Yeah, maybe my taste in vampires is the problem here. I think your taste in vampires is your one saving grace. Ugh. Now then. What is super cool latte up? Err. Uh. What is super cool latte up? I'm not good in the latte art. Uh, can can I just draw a Twitch chat or something? It's blue, not purple, but I guess it will. Uh, just the Twitch logo <laughs> while I'm here. Oh no, oh no. Um. Uh, uh <laughs> what was this? C close enough. Here, this is Twitch for you. A cup of blue latte with a masterpiece on it for you, sir. In memoriam. You now see part of the image, but there are still many details to discover. <laughs> 